I'm very proud to present our company Light Novo, where we design, produce, and commercialize mini Raman spectrometers and mini Raman microscopes. Both technologies were developed to the level of product for R&D market, and we already sold 24 units for research institutes and universities. As a next step for this technology, we want to bring it for the healthcare market. The uniqueness of this technology is that it's so compact, however, it allows to keep the highest level of performance, and we already have proof of concept that it can be successfully applied, in particular <coughs> in bacteria identification, in wound diagnostics in clinics. We often get samples into our lab uh, from surgical site wound or from chronic wounds, and uh, those samples are critical to analyze very fast. Currently we use uh, culturing techniques combined with uh, typically uh, mass spectrometry, and that whole process takes uh, quite, quite some time. It, can, it, can, it takes one day to maybe several days to be able to culture the bacteria. That is critical uh, because it will delay the, the treatment that we can give to the patients. I think that the, that, that the, the, the Raman technology proposed by Lightnovo is very interesting. We have been able to test the technology in our lab and we can see that it is possible to identify bacteria very fast in, in, the, in different uh, samples. Here at DFM we have been especially interested in using Raman spectroscopy for bioimaging and uh, under here uh, bacteria identification and distinction of uh, bacteria uh, using novel machine learning uh, tools that we have developed here. Uh, we have shown together with uh, Odense University on uh, uh, very simple prepared samples that we can distinguish between uh, different phenotypes of bacteria here, uh, multi-resistant bacteria with very high accuracies. The InnoBooster project will bring us one step further. Uh, based on mini Raman microscope, we will develop a new product, MBMAP. This would be a rapid bacteria identification tool that does not require cultivation to identify bacteria. This will allow sample to be analyzed within minutes or hours, just after the swab test at the point of care. Uh, we believe that with this proposed project, that and, and we, where we will optimize the, the technology together with like normal, that it would be possible to reach a stage where we can use it, and it's, uh, that it will be, be a robust technique uh, to be used on also crew patient samples. Uh, if we can do that, and it would be possible to identify bacteria faster, maybe within few seconds or minutes by that technology, that would definitely revolutionize the, the way that we do things here and our ability to act fast. We will be competing with laboratory testing that typically runs at 75 euros per test and can take um, more than a day to complete. The test based on our MB map uh, can be done within hours at a cost 70% less. That means after only 150 tests, it's economically more favorable. The commercial introduction will be through our partner and subcontractor on the program, Odense University Hospital, and through established distributors in the medical field.